hello YouTube, it's been a long time since I have done another Ubuntu server video. I've um, been busy building a new computer. It's got it's an AMD Phenom X4 9750 quad core, clocked at 2.4 gigahertz. I got 4 gig of uh, 800 megahertz DDR2. It's, the important thing that affects the screencast is it has hardware virtualization, so it runs virtual machines much more efficiently. Um, password, username, password on this um, virtual server that I have set up on Windows 7 on this guy is the same as in the previous videos. I watched them to make sure. So if we log in, it is Braincast. This is um, Ubuntu Server 1004, the release candidate. The date is the April 24th. Um, when you type in the password, it'll be blank. All right, no, it's, it's actually password in this example, but you won't see any of characters here when you type in the password. Um, now what I'm going to show you today is a simple firewall program built into Ubuntu server um, called UFW. It's a very simple, um, really easy. Now, first thing, you don't want to enable this on when you are connected to the machine using SSH because it's a firewall and the default behavior is to block everything. So then you have to go in and re-enable SSH. Okay, so first step. sudo ufw enable. And it's going to say that. So then you go sudo restart. No, oh, it's actually reboot. Now, bingo. And it's going to kill everything. Reboot. So then you walk in again. And then now sudo ufw status, and you type in password, and let's just say that. Now, for example, let's say it's a you're. I'm going to, to um, assume that you're a web server, so you have three ports open. SSH, which you can also tunnel fire or FTP through, which encrypts it, makes it more secure than standard FTP and so I don't bother with FTP anymore I use SFTP I believe it's called um, anyways which is port 22 so we want to enable that first for a while wow, it's a sudo UFW allow now if the service you want the port you want to allow has a service linked to it in the services configuration file you can just use the name like so there. But you can also do just the port. You have W. I'm going to now allow the default HTTP port, which is 80. I am also going to allow port 443, which is HTTPS. Now let's say that for some transitional thing you do temporarily use um, FTP, so you go sudo ufw allow FTP, but then you realize that's a mistake because SSH you can FTP in and it's more secure, so then you can later you can go sudo ufw deny. FTP. If I could type there. Now if we go sudo ufw status. And 
you can see it looked um, those services that we use names for up and substituted the port numbers. And then if you want to reset sudo ufw reset which clears the config makes backups of all the configuration files um, dis um, then resets the configuration files to defaults and disables the firewall so if we do that See? All right. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, please put comments, suggestions, requests for another video, for another topic in the video description. I hope to have a tour of the Ubuntu Desktop 1004 um, done soon. Uh, please subscribe, rate, all that stuff. And thank you for watching.